everyone so I have got a mammoth empties today and I don't know at first I had just a few products and then sorry I've got hair in my mouth and then it kind of just got a bit out of control and I've got a really really full bag here to show you so I'm gonna get started and the first one is this um, jewel candle what do they call this jewel bath sorry and it's the two-in-one bath bomb and body peeling cupcake now I've got a picture of this on Instagram which is um, linked down below if you want to see what it looks like but basically it's a cupcake bath bomb that has jewelry in it so it has a ring in it and this is what the kind of cupcake looks like and I used this last night that's kind of the packaging of it it was really nice um, I don't think that I would buy one for myself again but they're very very nice gifts because they come presented beautifully and they're just a nice kind of treat nice bath time treat and it fizz kind of in the bath the bath bomb bit I really liked the body peeling bit I didn't like so much and I kind of wish it was just a bath bomb I think that would work better but it's a lovely lovely gift and it was really good fun to use so I've used up one of those then I'm going to just grab the bag I've got here because it's so big let me show you the bag in fact all of that so let's just start going through it shall we um, the first thing is a body lotion and this is the Body Shop Fusion Water Lotus Body Lotion. It's very, very watery. It smells nice, but it's a very watery body lotion. Definitely one for summer. Definitely not one if you've got quite dry skin on your body. Then a fake tan, actually two fake tans in here, which is a random thing to use up, I know. This is the Laurens Way Solution 60 Rapid Mousse. I like the Laurens Way tans because they do give you a very, very deep tan. However, they don't fade very nicely because they're so dark. They do go a little bit patchy, but um, this is the tan I've got on at the moment, actually. But it ran out kind of once I got to about the boob section, and then I had to go in with a different tan, and I wanted a mousse. So I went in with the Laurens Way Self Tanning Bronzing Mousse. This is just a little sample size. I got in a kit I think really nice um, again I just I like the Lauren's Ray Salt Tans then I've got this which is probably this is so disgusting but it's the near um, I think it's called like Brazilian Spa Wax or something I couldn't heat it up anymore I've started a new one my favourite ever wax for bikini waxing it's amazing so that's that I'm going to put it on the floor I always have this problem with empties like what do you do with them then what do we have here let's do candle empty this is the what's the company called fragrance candle i don't know anyway it's a gardenia blossom i bought it in like wh smith or somewhere this smells gorgeous i love gardenia if you love um gardenia scents then the zara one's very nice as well but i love this and it was like six pounds so really really affordable and then i've got a couple of empty little kind of um not bath bombs what they're called kind of tart burners this is kringle candles baby baby dreams just smells like baby powder this was lovely i love um kringle candle i'm so upset that they don't stop products in the uk anymore this was the busy bees candles magic beans this was from the um candle box what was it called wax box i like these they were nice but kind of probably not something i'd repurchase um god i've just got so much in here it's actually getting a bit confusing another candle this was one of the not radox what are they called airwick someone recommended these and said that they were really nice for cheap candles the scent is lovely this was the floral one i think it might have been like spring flowers or something um white roses and sweet pea that's what it was the scent i've had so many disappointing candles lately i bought one in tesco's the other day that was supposed to be a peach one smelled amazing when you burn it, it smells like nothing that was pretty much the same problem you know they're nice and i like the little tubs but just didn't really perform how i wanted it to i hate that disappointing candles is like one of the most annoying things in life um then this hand wash is the wilco's passion fruit and melon didn't smell like melon at all i just picked it because I like the colour if I'm honest and I like these Wilco's hand washes I think the packaging is nice then I've got a couple of sachets of products this is the Coco Brown Tough Stuff Body Scrub this is a really nice pre-faked hand body scrub and when I finish this one that I'm using at the moment I will buy this one because it is really effective then I've got this face mask um, this is Freeman's Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask I got this in Tesco's, it was quite nice, it was one of those that dried really quickly though and um, I put a picture on Instagram because it's bright blue, like you literally look like a smurf, it's really good fun. Then what else do we have, these blotting papers, 
these were from eBay, they were just some random Chinese company. Oil control tissues, I didn't like these, they were too thin and flimsy for me. The Essence ones my favourite, they're the ones I've got at the moment. I bought two packs and I thought that they were in back in stock. Then this shower gel wasn't exclusively used by me, this is my boyfriend's favourite, favourite shower gel actually. And it's the Fish um, Sports Fish shower gel, I do use it sometimes because it smells really nice, it smells like coconut. Then this is the Spa Fine Sculpts and Silhouette Entrap Gel Exfoliant. Nice, but not something I will repurchase again. Um, bubble bath here. This is the Morrison's Bath Soak Nourish, just kind of a cheap bubble bath. Um, then this product here. This is really interesting. It's the Baruti, I never know how to pronounce this, Shine Detox Clarifying Jelly for Brightener Coloured Hair. It's basically a clarifying treatment. It is really clarifying. Clarifying slash slightly stripping on the hair, but works really effectively, and I would buy this again. You can get it on Fragrance Direct. Then, wouldn't be complete with it without a Febreze, my favourite one, the Sandalwood one. Random facts about Febreze. I bought some of the Cotton Fresh ones. They've changed the scent of that. It doesn't smell like cotton fresh anymore, but the Senzel was one I still love. Then I finished up a Body Shop Body Butter. This is the Sheer Butter one. I like this one. Not my favourite, but it's nice. Like in terms of scent, they all perform amazingly, the Body Shop Body Butters. Then this body scrub is the Enspa Jojoba and White Jasmine Body Scrub. This is a nice body scrub if you like a very delicate one. It's kind of not an abrasive scrub, it just kind of works quite nicely at exfoliating your skin, but not in a harsh way. It's just nice. And then let me see. Last couple of products down here at the bottom. Just check that I've mentioned everything. Yeah, everything. These two here. That bag wrestling was really annoying, I apologise. This is the Ren Radiance Perfection Serum. It just wouldn't come out anymore. Um, this is really nice. Wouldn't we purchase it again just because the texture wasn't that kind of texture that I like. I like a more kind of not a silicone one, but something that has a similar texture to the L'Oreal um, Skin Perfection. That's my preferred texture for serum and then I finished up a deodorant this was the Dove Go Fresh deodorant I love the scent of Dove um, deodorants but why do they have to be so powdery they always leave white patches and it drives me mad so I don't think I will repurchase this in a hurry again soon but I do like the scent of it it does smell nice so yeah those are all my empties I have actually got one more empty that I forgot to bring in here because I used it for the last time this morning it was mascara the Maybelline one by one mascara which I believe has been discontinued in the UK it's what I'm wearing on my lashes today I like it but it is on its last legs would repurchase it if I saw it again in fact I have seen it in TK Maxx recently um, which is usually an indicator that it's kind of going out of stock but I, oh, I dropped something um, I won't repurchase it in a hurry because I've got about 12 other mascaras to try out at the moment so that's that but I hope you enjoyed this video I love filming empties I get I've gotten so good I think at using empty at using up products and like doing empties videos I think I've gotten really really good at it so I will be back next month with another empties video let me know what you've used up this month and enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye